Institute replaces people with machines. Are you next? Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the pip boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before? For the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. So you think this Nick Valentine can find Sean? Yeah. <laughs> People don't like talking about him. I'm part of the whole head in the sand mindset Diamond City is famous for. But when you're down on your luck, and no one else is gonna give you a hand, he's always there. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Hey, Nat. You need this paper. Everything on the in Put the gun down. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? Put the gun what down do now! He's a... Forever. <laughs> he never did. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. Sorry. I'll come back later. No, that's not what I mean. We're not just closed for the day. We're closed permanently. The detective's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. 
Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hey. Thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. This place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Wait. He ain't got the balls to just yeah. kill him. Waste him.
Over here. What? On him. 